So we're good to go. Well, good Tuesday morning to you. I think it's Tuesday morning, right? Yeah, I, I don't yeah, it's know. second day of the work week. <laughs> so, uh, Steve Jackson, Tiffany Tarpley here. Uh, so this is life after the morning show, and we wanted to give you guys a nice little sneak peek of what we do, and we're looking to kind of highlight some of the cool places around town. So, Tiffany, yesterday we actually put on social media and we talked about some of the nice coffee shops around town. So. We're visiting one today. We're at Rust Belt Coffee in downtown Toledo. Yeah, and so I'm looking down because I'm looking at my phone. So if you have any comments for us, any questions, we can tackle that right now. So this is my first time here. And I must say that I'm quite impressed because I just took a sip of this before uh, this Facebook Live. So absolutely amazing. So what did you get? This is the, let me see, the Snowball. <laughs> it's a wintry drink. I don't even know what's in it. <laughs> but it feels like heaven. So if you like the sweeter coffee drinks, kind of yeah. like I do, not too sweet, just sweet enough, this is the one to get. So I'm not really on the sweet side of things when it comes to coffee, so I did something a little basic. I did a slow drip Ethiopian blend, uh, but I did get like three splashes of almond milk because uh, I wanted to be a little of a coffee snob this Ooh, morning. Ooh, <laughs> okay, and that, yeah, that's what you were, but that's okay. Thank yeah. you, and thank you, by the way, for treating me to the coffee. Like, yeah. what's your favorite coffee place? I think that's a good thing to talk about this morning. Do you have a favorite coffee place in Northwest Ohio? Like, what so was know, it about this I know, place? I know a lot of people, they talked about Black Kite. Mm. Uh, that's across the street from a high school. I forget which one, over on Collingwood. Not coming to mind right now. Maybe it's Scott. <laughs> I don't know. I could be wrong with that. But uh, this is one of my favorite spots. And the reason why is right downtown, and it has a really cool atmosphere, uh, nice tall ceilings. And like the old like brick type look is always really cool to me when it comes to coffee shops as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it has a nice atmosphere. Um, I like it overall. It feels very rustic. I guess it fits <laughs> its name, right? <laughs> definitely feels rustic. So a really nice menu as well. Uh, so you were able to walk through some of the things. It took you a while to kind of order. Uh, but we see uh, they have some really nice things. It's always nice, too, uh, to look at what's local because we have the big box coffee shops, but this is a place where people can come and meet. I don't know if we uh, have the opportunity, Paul, to kind of walk around a little bit or kind of turn. We don't. Okay, so let me just story tell for you. So <laughs> this is what we have over here. All right, I'm going to walk this way. So we have folks gathering this way. Um, they have a nice little sitting area. And uh, to the back over there, there's a nice conference room. And then if we head that way, I know Paul has the slow, slow pan, uh, but there's a nice sitting area back here as well. So a lot of space to social distance. So that's pretty cool. So that's why I wanted to come here as well. And if you have any questions for us, maybe you have questions for Tiffany uh, because she's new to town, new to the show again, rather. <laughs> right. No, um, it's all good. So, yeah. Tiffany, uh, tell us a little bit uh, about your background in Toledo. You went to BGSU, correct? I did. So I, I first went to a community college back home, which is Lorain, Ohio, um, kind of west of Cleveland. And I transferred to Bowling Green State University, and I was there for three years. Um, and it was, it was a great experience. And I think, you know, being going to Bowling Green State University, right, where do you go for work? <laughs> you know, you stay close to where you graduated. At least that's what happened for me. And so... I started my very first job right here at WTOL, but all those years ago after graduation. Nice. So that was pretty cool, working behind the scenes. So I know a lot about the city, but it's, it's fun to like get to know the city again. Mm -hmm. um, the last time I actually worked in the city was probably 10 years ago. I worked at um, Fox Toledo for like six years or so. Um, so, so much has changed, like seeing these gems, like this one that you just took it's me to. It's really cool. It's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. um, saw Toledo Spirits. Nice. Went there over the weekend. Soak, uh, if I'm saying that correctly, the Mediterranean restaurant, mm -hmm. the warehouse district. Um, but there, it, it's, I'm pretty impressed, nice. honestly. So you're getting the opportunity to kind of check out a lot of stuff that's happened. I've been yeah. to Toledo in March. It'll be eight years. And this uh, this place has totally changed, so it's uh, really nice uh, that you get to see uh, all you're the comments. To... I don't have anything. Oh, you, you don't, don't have any comments? comments? Let me let me let what? me share Look my phone this. with you. What? Why, why don't I have no comments? <laughs> there you go, you social media uh, guru, and I got all the okay. comments. Okay, well, thank go. you, Kathleen. She <laughs> says she loves my hair. Thank you this morning. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so, I Ziggy Zumba. Yep. yep okay. Yep. That's BG. Did so, you know? so, so no. Okay, I that's did BG. Not. No, I'm so lost. I went to a small school in Jackson, Mississippi, Tougaloo College. So yeah, no. Idea. As Paul has a University of Toledo uh, 
Rockets hoodie on right now. We talk about BGSU. I know. BGSU. I'm sorry, Paul. Our <laughs> photographer, Paul. He has on a UT sweatshirt. So let's talk about our routines for the morning show. Ooh. So, I mean, just beforehand, what's what's your routine just to make sure you get to work and you have the energy you need? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Loaded question. I don't think I. You know, I don't know that I have anything that gets me the energy that I need. Um, I'm a, um, sadly, I mean, that alarm goes off. I guess I need time. That's what I need. Like, I, I'll set my alarm for like a half hour before I can, you know, before I really need to get out of bed or I'm yeah. going to be extra late. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so I guess a little bit of time is what I need to start my day and to mentally process and prepare. Um, so are you a napper or do you stay up after no, work? You I don't, don't nap I at don't, all? I don't nap. So I don't go home and nap. I usually try to stay up. And then I go to sleep, you know, what some people would consider probably relatively early for a morning show. So anywhere between like 6, 7.30. Yeah, that's early. I'm in the bed. Sometimes I'm up till play. 9 o'clock. I, I nap though. I, I nap. Sleep. I nap. I get a nice little 30 no. to 45 minute workout in or a nice walk. Yeah. Something like that. That kind of keeps the energy yeah. up a little bit. And, and coffee. Yeah, and that's what I like. Like, um, you know, we talk about our wake up styles, I think, is what we've been, you know, talking about on the morning show now. Um, what's your wake up style? What'd I don't snooze. I don't You're snooze. not a snoozer. I'm so a snoozer. So I have three alarm set, actually. So I have one set for 2.30 and two set at 2.45. Ooh. So that gets me that gets me going. Yeah. So the 2.45 alarm is really a backup alarm, but also an alarm to tell me that I need to get a roll on. You know okay. what I mean? Because yeah. I have yeah, less yeah, to yeah, do. Yeah. I don't have yeah. to do hair in the morning. This, I throw on a white. so <laughs> lucky. I throw on a white shirt and a tie, so and I'm good lucky. to go. <laughs> like, cause I'm, you know, I gotta put on. I do my eyes at home. Nice. I'm new to wearing lashes, <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta make sure I get them on right and try to work it out, cause I don't know what I'm doing quite yet. Um, and that takes time to do that and, at home, and, and then I still gotta get to work and yeah, put on and the rest you, of my And you my rock makeup. the natural hair, and you do Thank it you. well, Thank Tiffany. You. So Thank does you. that take time to just get that together? Um, honestly, no. I would say. You know, the washing process of my hair, maybe once a week, takes some time. Not anymore now that I've cut it. My hair used to be bigger. I mean, it would be a literal afro. Mm -hmm. It could be. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, being cutting my hair cut the, cut the time. <laughs> so, like, during the week, it really, it's, it's really easy, honestly. Um, during the week, you know. Nice, nice. If you're, but, but you have to learn, like, if you're someone who's worn your hair natural, like, at least when I first did, I was very like, oh, every every curl has to be in place. I don't want any frizz. I don't want... Now I embrace the frizz. And that's why like, I shaved my is, head, because I was tired of worrying about the yeah, curls yeah. being in place. You know what I mean? Amen, right? Go ahead. Take a I'm sip to that. I'm going to drink the coffee. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, we really appreciate you all tuning in. Again, we're at Rust Belt Coffee. We're going to finish our coffee, mm -hmm. kind of chat up a bit. And this is on North Ontario. Yeah. So that's uh, right off of Monroe Street. So Monroe near Michigan. Uh, I believe it's a Shell gas station right in front of this here. So, um, yeah, not too uh, far from where we work uh, on Summit Street uh, in downtown Toledo. Uh, but we want to make sure that you um, wake up with us in the morning. Uh, and we want you to wake up with us. We want you to stay connected with us on social media. We actually start at 4.30. We do. And Steven Jackson is the anchor of the 4.30 newscast. So yeah, yeah, so wake, wake up, up wake up dark and yeah. early with me. And uh, let's get, get a move on each and every morning. So myself, Tiffany, Chris, Ariel, and Tim, we rock it for you. We're trying to bring you the best news each and every morning just to start your day. Yeah, and with some energy. I think it's fun, right? Like the news can be very serious. It can be very heavy, um, which is important, right, to know the serious topics that are happening. But it's also important to have a little fun, especially in the morning as you're getting ready. Oh, yeah. And we're, and we're, we're, we're trying to bring that to you as well. Yeah, so, so uh, make sure you... Uh, you wake up with us, tell a friend about us. You can stream us online as well. Wait, follow us on social media. Yeah. <laughs> Do that. I need the help. <laughs> right. I need the help on social. Tiffany so. Tarpley TV <laughs> on Facebook, T3 on TV on Instagram, Tiffany Tarpley on Twitter. Steven Jackson WTOL on Facebook. Again, Steven Jackson WTOL on Facebook. Hey, the reason why I say management would love it if you followed me. Just saying. And also on Twitter, at Steve J traffic and we're gonna Steve work J. on traffic. getting him an instagram see mm -hmm. you're pushing it now you're pushing it <laughs> see you folks have a good day